Hello, my name is David, and today I'm going to be showing you a 1v1 Super Turtle. I know, 1v1 Super Turtle, it's unheard of. So anyway, I'm going to start it off with the first attack he sends at me. Uh, just now, my base got destroyed. And I like to set up the Super Turtle, and this is Chasm's, by the way. I like to set up the Super Turtle um, on the base over here because it's much harder for him to bring ground units over here. There's only three openings, and two of them are kind of cramped. So as you can see, I, I like to put a little ODST there and put five um, Wolverines right behind it. That way it can kind of shoot at any air from pretty much anywhere he brings it. And I like to keep my tanks up in front, and I don't know, you can't see it now, but I have two Vulcans set up in the back of the base. And people that don't know what a Vulcan is, basically it's a bunch of Cobras stacked on top of each other. And usually you need a Hornet to set it up, but on this map, you don't actually need that since the map cuts off. Like dead center. Like you can just, you don't even need to do the uh, Hornet thing, so it's actually kind of cool. And uh, I see a Vulture, and I'm getting kind of scared, and I'm like, oh crap, you know. This is like the one thing that beats the Super Turtles, just 20 Vultures, you know. Or, you know, however many you can get. As you can see, that ODST is actually doing some pretty good damage. And, um, so yeah, nothing too serious right now. But then I see all these over here, and I'm like, oh shit, you know. And I kind of, I want to get my tanks out of the way, but anyway. But yeah, nothing to fear. And anyway, if you haven't figured it out already, a Super Turtle is basically just sitting here, uh, taking out as many units that they send at you. And as you, there's one Vulcan over there, and it looks kind of cool. And there's really not too much of a tutorial on it. I mean, this is basically how it set this up. Um, you're probably not going to be able to do this against someone that's uh, like good. However, even if you can get this set up, it pretty much will work until they figure out the secret to beating it. But I'm not going to reveal the secret. Um, there's actually another person... Um, that does videos like these, I'll put a link below. I don't know him or anything, he doesn't know me, but... So, here comes the Mac Blast, which is unfortunate, but will my Wolverines make it? Oh, they will. Later they get to at least uh, three stars on all of them. Alright, um, so right now... Ah, uh, jeez, I don't even know what to talk about. But anyway, like I said, i kind of a noob. Not really, I mean, maybe I am. I accidentally dropped a destruction bomb instead of a ODST. I mean, it seemed like the ODST would be on the right, but it's okay. Alright, and I'm um, sorry, I just, um, just watching. Uh, so that's pretty much um, all there is to the Super Turtle. I like to put two um, anti-air turrets in the front. I like to have two flamethrower turrets in the back, depending on whether who they are, if they're cutter they're going to usually drop ODST to take out the um the Vulcan so you kind of want to have two flame turrets to back them up and since the tanks kind of get a, have a hard time getting back there so anyway um all right sorry about the delay um so right now I'm going to show you what would happen if they were to drop a bunch of ODST near your, Vul uh, your Vulcan so he sends one Vulture and I think a lot of people will just hit all units and send them over there and they'll come one at a time and here it comes. And the, the way to stop this, because it is actually a threat, is just drop a disruption bomb right on top of your uh, your Vulcan. And just pretty much bring tanks over there. And actually if you want you can even let the um, the Cobras just annihilate the ODST. They actually get a lot of stars for doing that. And as you can see, the w right now I accidentally um, did a mistake and you want to keep, keep an eye out. If you press Y on a unit, like if you press local units and then you press, um, you know, you, if you switch over and try and canister the, uh, you know, units and your Cobras get selected too, they're going to like end up getting up. So you kind of want to be careful of that. So anyway, yeah, just you want to rebuild as fast as possible and try and heal as much as you can. I, I, I never, I was wondering if Forge would be a decent person to use. And, and I, I wonder, I'm not sure, I think that it would be better for Cutter, simply because he has the Mac Blast and he can take out a lot of units rather than a, cop, a carpet bomb. You know, Vultures is pretty much the weakness to a Super Turtle. Oops, I said it, I know. 
but if you just send six vultures and you just mac blast the base, I mean, it's true that it would, your vultures will probably be, you know. But then again, you can just focus on building units after that. So that's pretty much how you beat a super turtle. Any super turtle, really. But anyway. Yes. Um, okay. <laughs> Hey, okay, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry my editing sucks. Okay, give me a break. Um, so, I don't know if you could tell that. Maybe this isn't editing. Maybe this is just all one take. Yeah. So this is a classic example of what not to do. I was kind of getting impatient, so I mag blast his support. And then I realized that he has, like, three or four or five vultures coming at my base right now. So I'm like, oh shit. You know, I tried to stall him with maybe an Otis. You know, I was like, oh no, come back, fight me, but... That didn't really work out. And then I noticed that he also has tanks coming this way, which is not very good for me. And I also noticed his Wolverines was kind of reflects that he was a noob because, I mean, if you look, I have no air. And there's no reason to build Wolverines if they don't have air. I mean, it's kind of a dumb unit to build if there's no air. So anyway, and also you don't want to keep your Wolverines right up front like I did. Uh, I accidentally did that. Um, the reason why is because they can take him out of that. And they can actually shoot pretty far away. And it's always kind of hard to get units through this, so you may have to actually put uh, click on the one by one. So right now I'm trying to avoid that mag blast and trying to get my turrets up here. Now, not only did I accidentally mag blast that uh, that uh, Spartan when I could really use that mag blast right now, um, I actually did something that, like I was talking about earlier, is clicking local units and pressing Y. With like a scrub, I know it's not good micro. Then I see, I was like wondering, like why these tanks are getting fired at is because I freaking accidentally locked down these guys, uh, unlocked down those cobras, and it wasn't a big deal, but it definitely would have helped out a lot. And it's cool to see, you know, five cobras stacked up just fire at tanks. It just annihilates them. And a good way to check what I'm doing right now is to see if your cobras are there is highlighting them all and press X, and you can see which ones are stationed down and which ones are actually. Um, like, what, if they're locked down or not. If, if they start moving out of the thing, they're not locked down. Because it's kind of hard to tell if they're all locked down or not. Right now, I was thinking about setting it up, like, resetting up. Because the one uh, below my base is freaking awesome and perfect. But that one's kind of been messed with because of um, certain things. So, anyway. I guess I was trying to retreat my uh, ODST. But anyway, yeah, you know, you never want to keep dropping ODCs at a time, especially if you're playing against a Super Troll. I doubt you'll ever will. I'm pretty sure that I'm the only person that Super Troll is 1v1. Um, because, you know, if you do that, you're just going to build veterancy for your, the units, and the, you don't want to face 13-star tanks, because, you, you know, 13-star tanks are nothing to fuck with. So anyway. Yep, so right now I'm just setting it up, and I, I like to keep the ODST in there, and if you're ever, like, kind of bored, which I get very easily, just... Um, just send the ODST around and kind of scout out what they're doing. Maybe put some pressure. Oh, <sighs> okay. So now here comes another example of why you never want to just send Marines. Because believe it or not... Oh, hold on. Let's check this out. Four quad max does nothing to 13 star tanks. Absolutely nothing. So, you know, this is why you never want to send all units and marines because they're just going to get annihilated. There's nothing, there's nothing that can stop 13 star tanks. And right now, I think his plan with the building spartans is trying to jack one of my, um, my wolverine, or my uh, cobras, but that was not going to happen. Surprised this <laughs> that marine even made it that far. So anyway, this is what you see here, and now you're just going to see them all just get canny glitched, which I know is cheap, and I didn't really need to do that, but, I mean, I was kind of, you know, just having fun. It's not like I would have lost if I didn't canny glitch these guys. So anyway, yeah, I'm just going to watch them too. Um, so yeah, it's kind of amazing. I mean, right there, probably like, you know, a thousand soldiers just died. For nothing. It did like no damage. So yeah, that's you know the fail attempt, and you never. <laughs> I mean, look at all those bodies. Like I said, it's very intense when you see Retorial. Even though it's kind of boring half the time, the other half it's kind of fun watching just entire armies just get obliterated. 
you know, within seconds. And then as you see, the you always want to kind of keep the Y ability if they ever do have infantry. Because, you know, that volley actually tears apart ODSTs. Because usually, the, you know, the cutter will just drop them all in one spot, not actually kind of spread them out. Not that it's going to matter, but, you know. So, um, yeah. That was uh, his marine attack, which failed miserably. Alright, so now I'm going to show you something else that's, uh, that's kind of entertaining. And keep in mind, this is probably a pretty boring Super Turtle. The guy I was playing with didn't really send any armies besides ODST. But the real threat isn't the ODST, it's the Mag Blast. And as you can see, I dropped this Mag Blast right on time. Because if they Mag Blast that Vulcan, you know, you're pretty much, you're not going to be able to set that up again if they keep attacking. So right now I got very lucky right there. Um, so yeah, it's always kind of funny to see that happen. Alright, so now we're going to see another attempt to beat the Super Turtle, but it is indestructible. Except for, you know, all, all vultures in that class, but, you know, hopefully now we'll figure that out. So here you can see the... The Mac class. And he, he should have just took those out. Even though, really, you shouldn't go for reactors, in my opinion. You should just go for the main base. Six vultures and five, four mag blast shots easily take out the base. So right now, I can see these, uh, this air is not going to do good. And it's amazing, because I only have five wolverines, and it's countering a whole army of air. And the rest of the army is anti-infantry and anti-vehicle. And it's all because these wolverines, you know... If you don't aim for those wolverines, they're gonna be, all your air is gonna be taken out. Your best bet's actually taking out the, the anti-line air. So as you can see, he's trying to kill some cobras. I think he did kill one. That's right. So yeah, I just kind of like sitting here watching uh, all this shit happen. Alright. Um, yep, that was one attack. I think there's only one more, so, you know, bear with me. Alright, so now I'm going to show you some really, something really funny that made, this is the thing that made him resign. I got really lucky with this. Um, right now I'm just checking out the stars on my tank. They're all 13 stars. And I look at, like, I'll see how many stars I have in my lore. And I think, oh, maybe I'll send this one Wolverine over, kill a building, get a star or something. And I get really lucky here. And I notice he sends a Warhog. And the reason why he did that, and I noticed really soon, and I see an elephant coming, is that he's getting ready to quad mag all my wolverines to take out my anti-air. But luckily, I just drop a disruption while right before he can get here. And so when he sends all his vultures and stuff to try and take them out, you can see it just fails. And then I guess he's trying to figure out why he can't do the mag blast. Um, and as you can see, if he would have took out all my air, there's probably not a whole lot I could have done against the battle armor, I think. So I mean, even though it looks like that I'm destroying them, I'm actually kind of in the hot seat. So yeah, pretty much now he's realizing that, you know, his mag blast is not working for some reason. And you know, he just sees his whole army get annihilated. Not, he didn't take out anything at all. And as you can see, yeah, this is the great, I call it the, you know, the 10 seconds of glory. You just watch everything freeze and frozen. And, and then you see the resign. Looks kind of cool. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and thank you very much. And goodbye. And I actually got an achievement for that. I couldn't believe it. All right. Bye-bye.